Hey, Jen Shen Long, I, I have been elevated. I'm in, I, I have risen my consciousness. I just wanted to show you real quick before I um, uh, show you the stances real quick, how to put your sash on. Chinese sash, you gotta wear this every class. You're in your bedroom and you're watching my videos, put your sash on. I'm serious, really. Get in the mood, get in, you know, don't cheat yourself. Okay, so what you wanna do is take it, so that one, high, one side is maybe about where your knee is, as you can see here, and one side's down to the floor. You want that kind of difference, okay? Then you come right straight here in the front like this, come around like this and then you're going to tie it over your left hip like this and you're going to just do a square knot left over right then right over left that's it you're done of course i usually wear it on the uh, underside here but uh it's as my instructor said you know it looks nice to wear all these sashes but really they're just to hold your pants up this is more for the movies but um okay this is where I keep it right here for right now because i want to adjust my shirt in public here we go now i'm going to show you the stances here's a tension a relaxed attention i'm going to hold my hands like this this is the bent knee attention. In other words, I'm trying not to go like this. I'm just gonna go down to here, okay? Now this is my Kung Fu elevation now. I'm right now at my Kung Fu fighting style. I'm up here on the table so you can see my feet better, I'm hoping. Okay, so now, um, as I turn, okay, so I'm here and I'm gonna step to the square horse. Okay, now if I'm way up here, I really wanna kinda lower down and step sideways more. I don't wanna just kinda go clunk. That's not the idea here. So there's proper ways to get in and out of our stances. So we bend our knees, square horse. Now from here, we're gonna turn to the left forward. Now watch my feet. This is the reason I'm up here on the table, so you can see my feet. In other words, my back foot's gonna have to be on a 45 degree angle so that my hip can turn all the way. If I just turn it a little bit, I can't turn my hip all the way. <clears throat> I have to turn this foot a little bit more, and now my hip can go. Now I'm fully facing this direction. So when I change to a right forward, my hips are in the same position, see? So the forward stance, when I'm moving forward, my hips stay in the same position, just like when I'm walking. In other words, I'll just walking like this. Now, this is why you can't do karate at the same time. Now, in karate, you don't walk like this. In karate, as they explained to me, it's like railroad tracks. One foot's on this track, and the other foot's on this track. And that's how they walk in karate. In kung fu, you walk on a curb, or it's like a high wire. You're always walking on one little rope, one little line here, and that's it. Okay? <clears throat> so, your footwork's different. That's why it's fundamentally impossible to be in karate and kung fu at the same time. It won't work. You're, everybody's gonna be unhappy, <laughs> okay? So what you gotta do is you'll be able to go to square horse and you're gonna be going to a 90 degree angle and you're on a line. If I draw a line between this heel and this heel, that's where I'm facing. That's considered forward. If I put my foot over here, I'm actually facing that way, okay? So that's the basics. I just had to show you that. And then from there, everything works out really good because my hips are in the right position. I can come back to the toe stance, the heel stance the crane stance, everything. My bones are in the right position. If I turn just slightly like this, it's a lot harder to do these things. But like this, it's just effortless. So that's Kung Fu for you. It's using your body naturally. It's using your bones naturally. So that's what I wanted to point out lastly. Welcome to our video. Welcome to our school. <laughs> I hope you sign up. Um, I enjoy teaching and I hope you enjoy learning. Have a great life.